hi guys I'm back and I'm still working on some more of the mixed media ephemera doing the um, melted wax ephemera bits and I just wanted to show a couple more things that I've tried and come up with that I thought you might like and maybe you didn't think of because I sure didn't yesterday I'm layering some stamps so on this one I had a stamp that is some lettering I had a key I had a key and I had a butterfly stamp so what I did is I layered them I did the lettering first in a different color of ink I did the key and the butterfly over it in a little bit darker ink I took some watercolor in like a yellow ochre and did some little pops of color behind and a little bit of color and some white gouache on that butterfly to layer it and I haven't waxed them yet I'm just right now that's the other thing mass produce so do all your stamping and all your coloring and your splattering and your putting on of the the glitter inks and things do all that at one time and then go do all your waxing at one time it's going to be so much easier than doing one at a time so here's another one with a postage stamp in um let's see that color of ink is vintage photo this color of ink is ground espresso and this is sepia so i did a B. Let me move it out. Focus it here a little. A B, a key, and a little hint of a postage stamp. That's going to be so cute on a tag or layered. And then, of course, I did my glittery B elements and things and added a little pops of color. This I colored with watercolor paints and colored pencils. Did my double distress around the edge. Here's another layered one. This is great. Look at this is a postcard and it's got these little elements but I just inked them separately and used them separately. So the little part that says hand stamped work of art is down here. The postage card is here. Two different keys and that background stamp to just keep layering and layering and look what you come up with. So these are just turning out super fun. I thought I would share layering your stamps and using more than one to make your little bits of ephemera. So I'll show you what they look like when they're waxed. And here's another idea. So find a stencil in your stash that has a small type pattern. Get your distress ink and a soft brush. This is a silver scrubber dome. You could use those round makeup brushes now that you can find everywhere. And put your stencil down. And then pick up some ink with your soft brush from your distress ink. And come into your, your stencil here. Hold it in place. And now you've stenciled a really cool background pattern. So here's that same one I just showed you a minute ago and I added a little bit of the stenciled background and look at how that just really added something fun. And to my B and key and postage stamp, look at, add a little texture in those backgrounds. Super easy and fun adding something to those little ephemera bits we're creating. There's lots of ways that you can do layers. So on this one, I layered the bird's nest first using um, vintage photo ink. And then the bird, I came over the bird with the bird on top of it. I just stamped it in black on top. And if it doesn't stamp well enough, the pen is your friend. You can always go back in and bump up the black, which I did. I used my little pen and I went and I bumped it up. Now I'm gonna add some color to that bird and that's gonna make him stand out and the eggs. And I'll show you what that looks like after I get that done. But I'm gonna show you a really fun ideas and tips for how to layer. Cause layering is so easy if you're stamping and you wanna use a lot of different stamps and you want them to be layered but not cover each other up. So let me show you that. So with cute little sets like this, you have a bird and you have a bird cage. If you want to stamp the bird in the bird cage, what you want to do is to stamp your bird first. And you're going to stamp your bird in a lighter color of ink. So I'm going to use coffee. 
color to stamp my little bird inside and you stamp him first and a lot of you already know how to do this some people um, are stamping up demonstrators or you've been watching videos on stamping so you may have already seen this but because I'm layering these cute little ephemera bits I might as well show how to do that in case you've never seen it so here's the bird cage and I want to put the bird cage over the bird this is one where you would come in with a darker ink I'm going to use ground espresso and I'm just going to stamp right over the bird because it's clear stamp you can kind of see and I'm going to stamp right over the bird so now it looks like the bird is in the bird cage but for other things like here's another tall bird cage I have an idea for a background but I want to stamp this and I think I'm gonna stamp it in the ground espresso ground espresso is nice and dark it's not quite black but it's nice and dark so I kind of like that that it's not black okay so I'm gonna stamp my birdcage first that looks great and now I want to come in and I want to put these cute little mandala stamps behind it for decorations so how do you do that and not stamp on that image well that's pretty easy just take a piece of regular paper like um, you would put in your printer just regular copy paper and stamp your image on your paper nothing special not too hard and then what you want to do is just take your scissors and trim it out and I'm not going to do be too careful about my fussy cutting it doesn't need to be perfect but I'm just kind of carefully but not too exact gonna fussy cut this out of paper you can do it on a post-it note that works great but it doesn't matter it can be post-it note and post-it wasn't tall enough for this particular stamp but if you have something small that you want to cover use a post-it then you've got the sticky back to stick it okay and I'm not even worried about the bottom I just did that so that now I can place that down cover it up and I'm gonna take these and I think I want to use a lighter ink for them maybe even a colored ink no I'm just gonna go with coffee is a lighter color let's just use coffee that's fine so you stamp your stamp and you just hold this in place where it would go to cover up that other one and now I can come in and stamp just like that and when you lift it up magically it's behind it and not over it so I can use this little mask again and put it down and I'll use another little one of these these are so cute I love those I've got those little round mandala stamps a little set of them on Amazon years ago and I'm going to go up here and do another one and then take it away and look what you have so it layers it it doesn't double cross it like the um, nest the little nest I just did I crossed one over the top I did the nest first and then the bird but you can see that the images are on each other so technically what I should have done is stamp the bird first cover up the bird then stamp the nest so it would be behind the bird and then there wouldn't be any nest inside the image of the bird so hopefully that gives you some idea of how to do some of the layering with these stamps to play around with these little ephemera bits that we're making. And now I can come in with my little stencil and my brush and my Distress Ink. And now brush on a light pattern going just around it. And not covering over those stamped images and 
and I'm not going heavy handed. I just want it light, but look at that. So cute. So cute. And now I'm going to tear that out and uh, I will put the wax over it and make that a waxed element. And whenever I make these little masks, I just keep these and put them in a little a little envelope and where I store those stamps I store the masks so I won't have to make them again and I'll have these masks to use over and over again because it doesn't matter you can stamp over them a, a billion times so I'm going to go ahead and do that with the birdcage one so here's the little birdcage and now I've added a little mandala image behind it and that time I stamped in black if you're using pen to do pen work the Tombow Mono drawing pen or the art and fly uh, liner pens work really great. They don't bleed. So what I'm going to do is come back in here and add a little chain to my bird cage, like he's like the bird cage is hanging. And when I tear that, it'll be off the edge edge of the page. But I wanted a chain on here, like that. And I used my pen to write. For the caged bird sings of freedom. Those are words from the poem by Maya Angelou. So look how pretty that's become. And now when I tear it out and do my um, technique of doing a double distress edge and then wax it, this is going to be just so beautiful as an element on one of my little tags. I'll put a link in the description box below for a video where I show how to do stretch lettering like that. Here's another layering idea. Take a piece of lace. This is a piece of nylon lace. It's wide and it's a little stiff. And I'm going to put that over my image like this. And same thing, soft brush and distress ink. Try not to move it. Come over and brush over that lace. And look at that beautiful pattern it creates. You have a lace pattern. So pretty. This is a cute layered image. It's this girl, the Victorian girl and the writing set. It's from Stampin' Up! from 20 some years ago. And I just inked that part of the girl and used her. I didn't use the frame or the saying. So I stamped her first and then I came back with this one and stamped it in black over the top. So it looks like she's at the desk frustrated because she's trying to write a love letter. So I thought that was really pretty layered images. Here's another fun example of a layer. I'm using this stamp. This is a Hero Arts stamp. I think it's a set of this really cool women. And I stamped her in black. And then I use the small Tim Holtz collection stencil that looks like bricks and my soft brush and the sepia ink and made it look like she's standing in front of a brick wall. Another thing to layer with is paint pens. So I've used a lace stamp behind, a mandala stamp, and a Victrola and I've done some watercolor painting and then I added some silver with a silver Posca pen and now I'm going to add to that mandala by just coming in here and doing some dots. And it's just acrylic paint, so it'll dry and you can wax over it too. So I thought it'd be nice to even layer with some paint. That's why these are just so mixed media because you can use any type of art supply that you have. And it makes that mandala bright and it's still going to get waxed. So I'll show you what it looks like after it's waxed. I also figured out that if you use a little bit bigger of a piece of the freezer paper, you can do right here, I'm doing five at a time, and it works out just fine. So I, I sat all day and did all the artwork, and now I'm doing all the waxing all at one time. It's going a lot quicker that way. So here are the final results of what I created today, and I had so much fun. The um, 
little touches that I put on them, like this one, I did it on a lighter cardstock. The whole background is in that shimmer ink. It's watercolor painted. The white is white watercolor paint, almost like a gouache. I, I uh, distressed it with two blue distress inks. That is just lovely, lovely. And things like this where I've layered stamps, used some paints, and used some stenciling in the background. This was the one with the stenciled brick background. The white on this one is Dr. P.H. Martin's ink and a paintbrush. And that looks really cool and fun. I did some architecture ones with some clouds in the sky that clouds were white watercolor. Here's the one with the Maya Angelos poem. I love that one and I splattered it with uh, gold, some gold paint. So there's gold specks in it and gold flecks. This girl, I love this girl. Look at her with all her colors and I used white ink on that as well to make her kind of really stand out a bit. This is a double layered stamp, two different stamps. And here's the bird one I showed with putting the stamp behind the stamp and I used white ink and the white ink really pops once you wax these. I was kind of surprised. That was all uh, colored pencil and little bits of white ink, watercolor paints. So lots of layers, lots and lots of layers. Splatters, I did some black splatters on this one, some watercolor paint in the background. They just turned out so pretty, so much nicer even than the ones yesterday because I did more layering. I like the layering of the stamps. I like using the stencils. Look at those stenciled backgrounds. Look how they turned out. Stenciled backgrounds turned out really fun. Um, let's see, this one is the one I stenciled through lace. Look at the lace background. That's really pretty. So I hope these gave you some more ideas. We got started yesterday with making these little ephemera bits and today I showed you some stamp layering, using stencils to do some layering, stenciling through lace, adding some different kinds of paints and things and inks and this is what you can come up with. So uh, try it, have fun, and see what you can create. It's creating art and art soothes the heart. Have fun. Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs.